What is up, everybody? Alex from WMD here, back at you again, and this time we're going to be talking about Scalpel. Scalpel is our brand new dual mono slash stereo EQ and morphing filter. 4 HP, so super compact footprint with lots of functionality. In this video, we're just going to go through the basics, how to set it up, how to use it. We'll do some noise sweeps, and then we'll go through a couple different use cases. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so I have my scalpel here. The first thing we're going to do is just run through all of the buttons and things so you can know what they all do. So I.O. is your in and out. So this is bypass, right? If the LEDs on the top are off, that means that the module is bypassed. This is great so you can hear what you're doing, what you're adding to the sound or taking away for that matter with EQ. Um, so you can hear your bypass signal and then bring it in. Also a nice performance tool if you want to use it in that way. Band is going to be how you select the different frequency bands that you're controlling. So Scalpel is a five band EQ. It has a low shelf, three mid bands, and then a high shelf. So you can see here we have level, Q, and frequency control for each band. So right here, these top LEDs, when these are red, that means you're in the low band. We can go to the next one. You can see on the LED spectrum over here, you can see that that switches. And then these are more of like an orange red kind of thing. That's telling us we're on the low mid band. Go to this one. Now we're on the mid band. Those are going to be orange. We go to here. Now they're orange and green. And now we go to the top. Now they're green. So that's how we switch between those there. This morph switch here is how you get into morph mode. So we can tap morph and now we're in morph mode. When these LEDs are flashing like this, this is letting you know that you're in morph mode. So now these knobs become knobs to morph between the presets. Now when, when these LEDs are static, you're in edit mode. So this is all about editing your presets editing your EQs, and then the morph knob, you can use it to load. So if you just hold it, you can go through here and load a preset. And then you can also use this as the memory uh, switch. So we have memory, init, and save. Memory is just hold it. Now you can choose where you want to save. And if you want to save, you just tap save. We can go through here. We can say, oh, I want to initialize this one as well. So this is going to initialize the setting that you're on. So we just hold that one. That's kind of a safety to make sure that you want to initialize. And then after you initialize, if you want to save that, make sure you do. And the next thing on the panel, we have the A, B switch right here. So this says what you are controlling with these knobs and how it's going to behave. So if you're on the A side, this means you're just controlling the A side and that you've got a dual mono sound coming on. So you can still hear A, but we're controlling, or still hear B, excuse me, but we're controlling A with the knobs. Now B is the exact opposite. We go over here, now we're just controlling the B side. So if we're in A and B, this means that the knobs control both sides equally and is more of like a true stereo kind of EQ. So this, both changes will happen to each side um, in the same manner. All right, now for saving with the switches. If you're on A or B, you're going to save to that bank. When you're in the middle, that means you're on A and B. We can save that. That's going to save a settings of both sides. As soon as you switch to the B, we now decouple A from B, and you can save that in its own bank that's recallable. So you can go into A or A B and load those presets, or you can go to B and load its own. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to run some noise through it. So I'm going to take my noise out of my mod box, run that into input A, go out of input A into my mixer, and here's my sound. Scalpel ships blank, so you can hear when I turn it on and turn it off, there's absolutely no difference. And now we can say, let's just take out the lows. We can move the frequency around, and we can change how steep that curve is for the shelf. I'm going to keep the lows in for now. I'll go to the low mid band. And now you can see we can sharpen our, our uh, cue here. 
or make it more wide. We can really figure out where we want to cut or boost. So now we'll go to the next band, take out a cut here, turn up that cue. And these do overlap, so you can boost something really hard if you want to. Or we can just cut right next to that one. Pretty nice sound. So now let's go to the next one. These are my high mids. So yeah, I've boosted right around my uh, notch there. And then we can go to the high, and we can take all the highs out. And that's that. So if I wanna save something, I'm just gonna go through here. Let's bring these back a little bit. Let's just save that. So in order to do that, I'm gonna hit morph, and I'm gonna go to the one that I want to with this bottom knob here. So I travel to the one I want to, now I hit save, and now that's saved. So if I want to recall a preset, there's two ways I can do that. If I want to do it from the edit mode here, I just hold morph, and then I use this bottom knob to find the one I want to load, and then when I let go, it'll load it. So now I'll go back to A, load that one. So let's make another filter real fast. I'm just gonna go back to the low bands, I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna boost some stuff, move them around here. Let's take that one out. Let's give it a ties back. Okay, let's save this one to number two. So I'm just gonna hold morph. Go to number two, hit save. And now we've saved. If I wanna initialize what I'm hearing, I can just hold morph and then hit I.O. I have to hold it for a little bit just to make sure that I want to do that. And then there we go. I've done, I've uh, initialized what we're hearing. So we can go through and we can load these presets again just by holding morph, traveling to number two, and going like that. So as you could hear, we were on number two. I initialized it and then I was able to load it again. So when you initialize, you're just initializing the filter that you hear. If you wanna save that, you have to make sure to go in and save that to a um, preset that you want. Initialize is just a great way to start from scratch in making a new filter. So now the other way to load presets is to go into morph mode and morph between them. So to do, so to do that, all we do is tap the morph button and now we can use the bottom knob to morph between these filters that we made. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna filter a drum break. So I'm gonna go out of the left and right of my assimilator here. I'm gonna run that into scalpel. And then I'm gonna take the outs, run those into the stereo input on my mixer. And here I've got some chords going right now. So we're going to stop that, we're going to go over to this drum break. So let's bypass real quick. I've got this set up so I can run my Metron as the trigger here and kind of keep it as close to in tempo as I figured out here. And now I'm going to add a kick drum. And I'm just going to run the kick drum straight in to a simulator here. Let's do a four on the floor pattern with our kick drum. All right, so that's kind of getting lost in there. So let's EQ our drum break here. So first things, I'm just going to turn on my I.O. And then I'm going to go through and I'm just going to initialize the settings. So I know I'm starting uh, from scratch for my EQ. Go to the low band, let's take those out. So that's all the way out, that might be a bit much. Find my frequency there, let's add a little bit more, bring frequency up a little bit. 
All right, that sounds pretty good. Now I can clearly hear the kick drum and clearly hear the break. There's no fighting. So now let's go through, let's just take the high band down a little bit too. So this might help if I'm running a bunch of other stuff in my mix and I want everything to come through and just have this break in the background. That's a real nice sound there. So I like this, I'm gonna save it. So I'm gonna go through, save on number one. And now that's saved. So when I turn the module off and come back to it, I can have that set up. Another nice thing about this is if you're running like a really long set, say you're using different samples for each song in your set, um, you could use these presets for each different sample and just load them by holding morph, moving the knob, and loading the one that you want to load. All right, so next let's do some tonal filtering. So I'm going to take, uh, just use my assimilator again. I'm going to bypass my scalpel just so we can hear it. And I think I've got a chord in here somewhere. There it is. So let's just loop this guy. And there's my chord. Lots of frequency content in there. So I turn on the I.O. Just muffled it a little bit. Let's start from scratch again. So we're going to hold more. Hold initialize. Let's take those lows out. That's nice. Now let's just go take those highs out because that's a little bit much. So you can hear there's lots of control in here. And I don't have to take them all the way out with that shelf. That's kind of the nice thing. I can just turn them down. All right, so there we go. That sounds pretty nice. But what if we want to do a morphing filter? So for this, I'm just going to bring this back up. I'm going to go through and I'm going to make some pretty drastic sounds. So go to the next band, boost it. Clipping my mixer here. There we go. Go to the next band. All right, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to save that again to number one. Now I'm just going to make another filter. So I'm just going to move these bands around. So now we've got a real resonant filter. that one now I'm gonna save that to number two so save all right so like I said we can either use morph to load our presets let's make one more filter this one's nice and mellow let's just do that I'll save that on number three now we can go into morph mode we can use this bottom knob to morph between them Now's the time we might use something like CV, so I'm going to take the mod box out, run that through here to the morph input. And I don't have filters written down here, but you can get the idea, right? I could also use Volterra. That might work a little bit better. So for all of these demos, we've just been using a B mode. We're just controlling both sides of the filter the exact same. So now let's go and make some uh, filters for the B side and get some weird stereo effects going. So I'm just going to go over here, flip over to B. Let's bring this up. So now we can go through here and we can make a filter just for the right side. That's nice. Clip in my mixer again. There we go. That's kind of cool. Let's go bring these highs back for this side. Alright, now 
let's just go edit the left side of this filter. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna save that to number one here. We're just saving on the A side. So I gotta go over to number one, save it. Now I'm gonna go to B. I'm gonna save that on number one as well. So now let's make a new filter on the B side. So now I can go into morph mode and I can use this knob to do the left side and I can use this side, this knob, to do the right side. Right? We could also do that with CV, so I'm going to do Volterra again. I'm just going to run that into A, run this one into B. cool. All right, so now we have both sides being controlled independently with the CV, so that's pretty fun. All right, so one last thing that I didn't get to is overall level. So if you want to change the overall trim of your incoming signal, you can do that really easily. So first you want to go to edit mode. What we're going to do is just hit morph. Now we're in the edit mode. Bring this up just so you can hear it again. And let's say we just want to bring this whole thing down. So how we do that is we just hold the I.O. button and then we use this bottom knob here. And now you can tell we turn the right side down. I'm going to go back over to A.B. Let's just turn them down both together. So in the middle of all these LEDs right in the middle is no change. You can boost or cut. So whatever you need for your signal, you've got it. All right, so that's it. Hope it gives you some ideas on how to use scalpel in your own rig. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe and we will see you all next time. Peace.